Hi guys, sorry I've been away. Put in a 600 foot water line and got into some poison ivy and it got infected. So, been bed bound for a few days. Sorry about that. But, still feel like crap. But, I had this thought. First of all, Stephanie gave me an idea because we were talking about how humans don't want to believe that there are aliens out there because you guys don't see them. And you just cannot get over the fact that they don't show up. And it doesn't seem to matter that there are all kinds of pictures online. And it doesn't seem to matter that there are police and military of the highest echelon that have broke cover in their older age and told you people all kinds of stories about interaction with aliens that have been covered up by governments. Now, why that's hard to believe is beyond me since the government has covered up so much in your lives. Any adult knows that. But for some reason, it's easier for y'all to believe that there's not a government cover-up than there is that there are aliens, which just, I, I'm just mind-boggled by that. Uh, just totally mind-boggled by it. And Stephanie brought up that um, if I were to ask you, Oh, shoot, most of the humans on this planet, if you guys want to go on a trip, and I want you to go in a, oh, in a boat with no weapons, or let's give you a knife at your side, um, and go to the deep jungles of the Amazon and look for a, a any of the headhunter, cannibalistic, um, tribes that we've been told live there, how many would go? Leave your families behind, leave your friends behind, and just go look for them. Just go to say hi. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know anything about them. You just know that they have a history of eating people. But how many of you going to go and, and talk to them? And that's basically what you're asking me about these aliens. They are so far ahead of you, but humans in their massive egos and they're so self-centered which I do not understand about humans other than it's part of the game because I, and I don't understand why you guys don't get this either I mean seriously men and women on this planet destroy their children neglect them at best uh, women are more likely to be killed and hurt by the person that they love the most um, friends turn on each other, uh, countries kill each other, shoot over the stupidest stuff. Well, for crying out loud, it's not like we don't have enough and we're getting it from Canada, but we're going to go to war across the seas. Oh, I don't know, guys. You guys amaze me. Uh, you hurt the planet that you're on knowing full well that you, that you shouldn't be. You buy shit you don't need. You work at jobs you hate, and then you wonder why the aliens don't come talk to you. For the most part, contrary to all of the movies that you've seen, and most of the aliens that are, that are really horrific, they've been created by what you believe, by the way. You're the ones that created them. For the most part, the aliens that are out there, by far, I would say easily, 98%, are wonderful. They're wonderful beings. Now, they may not be anybody that I'm interested in, but I died. I went outside the game. I'm not interested in anything about this game. But if you're going to be in the game, you're far better off dealing with the, the good aliens than you are in any human being on this planet. Any human being. Because humans are just faulty. They're just faulty. They, they've been taught to believe that everything around them is out of their control, that they're worthless, that there's limited of everything, and that you have to fight over it. That you've got to fight for the love that's in your life. You've got to fight for the kids this, to, so they'll be good enough. You've got to fight for the food and fight for the money. And none of that's true, of course. And aliens know that. They've known the rules of how things really work in this game for a long time. 
But y'all keep arguing with each other about this, and I, I don't know. I guess I'm having a bad day, guys, but it's frustrating. It's frustrating when logic, I mean, just take your mind away from it for just a second and think about it big picture. Would you come down here? Would you, if you were, if, if you lived in, in a world of happiness and joy and everything was running smoothly, would you come down and mess with us? Why? Why would you? Everybody on this planet is fighting over something. <laughs> a good day is uh, a birthday party. A good day is going to a concert. A good day is a promotion. People aren't happy 90% of the time. They're not happy 1% of the time. But you want aliens to come down and make it better. They're not going to make it better, guys. It's up to you to make your world better. Nobody's going to come down and save your asses this time. Nobody ever was. Nobody ever did. That was faulty information. You guys just bought into it. And those aliens are not going to come down and have anything to do with you until you get your shit together. And that means quit fighting over stupid crap. I mean, how many cars does one family need? <laughs> how much groceries do you need? How much are you going to buy into this fear factor that we're all going to blow each other up? I mean, be real. I lived through the Cold War, guys. And you know what I remember the most? I remember being a little kid, and in the Cold War, they didn't cut off the TV, but they told us Russia was out to get us. They were going to blow us up. My dad had, if he would have had money, he would have had a bomb shelter. I kid you not. I mean, we were told constantly about how bad communism was and how the Russians were going to come over and kill us all. But you know what they didn't stop? They didn't stop the TV broadcasts that showed line after line after line of the Russians in in line for toilet paper. That they, they were starving to death. That they couldn't buy, buy blue jeans. My family was dirt poor and I had blue jeans. Now, as a young person, the lie became very obvious at that point. It became, okay... These people across on the other side of the world, and that was way long time ago when it was hard to get to the other side of the world, that they're going to come over and kill me? Why? For my toilet paper? And how are they going to afford that? If they can't afford toilet paper, they can't get blue jeans, how are they going to get over here to kill me? And none of it happened. Decade upon decade upon decade of our people, our government, terrorizing us for nothing. For nothing. And years later, decades later, guess who I'm working side by side with in Houston hospitals? Vietnam people and people from Russia. And you know what they told me? That they were told the same thing about us. Now, how many times does that have to happen to you people before you stop falling for the bullshit? I mean, how many times? I get frustrated talking to people because I'm so sick of it. I mean, seriously? And I have proven the point because I have gotten my living down to, I guarantee I could live on $150 a month, probably less than that if I'd lose the tech. I know I could. So all this bullshit that you need money is all a lie. What do you need? What are you buying? What are you spending it on? Where are you living? If you want out of the rat race, you got to get out of it. If you want out of their lives, you got to get out of their game. And until then, don't expect the aliens to come and say hi. They're not going to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't like talking to people now. Because they lose their minds over the stupidest shit. Really. They do. The aliens aren't going to show up on your doorstep until you can get over your shit. And that means you got to stop fighting with your neighbors. you got to stop fighting with your people at work. And you got to stop fighting with your families. And you've got to get on the side of your countries, making your countries behave themselves. Because you've let your politicians run things for too long. And in this country, 
That's not the way it's supposed to work, remember? Remember? They're supposed to represent you. Do you really support what they're doing? If not, do something about it. Until then, there will be no prizes from the aliens. They know what you would do with it. You would control each other with it. You would destroy each other with it. And they're not going to help you do that. They're just not. They'll let you sit here on this planet. Or the illusion of the planet. Because the planet's leaving. But you can sit on the illusion of this planet and destroy yourselves. They'll let you do that. You have the right. You're a creator God. I'm just saying. So. Anyway. That's it for me. Talk to y'all later. Love you bunches. Huge hugs. Bye now.